Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice can be good. Please invite your friends and let us share with whoever we have. And later, don't forget to download the video right after we finish. Uh, actually, I wanted to go earlier today, but uh, I had some work to do, so I had to reschedule because I wanted to be early and to be with the people from Asia. But what we can do sometimes, there's things you want to do, but you cannot accomplish it. Uh, our topic today is about why Islam as a cult need a government protection. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we saw, and all of you saw, uh, how Muslims, they uh, went in the street, even in the middle of Europe, taking advantage of the, you know, how friendly European are. Um, and go in the street and they have a sign that says, Behead those who insult the Prophet. Uh, Our dead in paradise, you're dead in hell. And the uh, European uh, police did not even arrest anyone because, you know, this is something uh, should not be, uh, this is not tolerance, this is stupid. And actually here, this picture is in Sydney. Those who want to behead people for whatever opinion, opinion, obviously they are terrorists and they should be deported and should go to jail immediately. Uh, <clears throat> but because European, they are very tolerant. Actually, this is why they have those signs, and they are not worried about carrying them. We saw, as an example, Obama uh, making a statement saying, the future must not belong to those who slander the Prophet of Islam. So Obama, who presents supposedly at that time when he was a president, he present the freedom world where everybody can see his mind. But in the freedom world of Obama, who elected by the liberals who claim too much of being freedom supporters, blah, 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 you know, they have no problem with such a statement, which is nothing but terrorism. Because when you say to me, you have no future if you insult a man, who is this man? A man who died 1400 years ago. That's mean you are saying, I'm going to stop you with all means, and I am as a president speaking now, and I have the power. Now, for sure, that is stupid talk, and nobody will be able to practice it, because in order to stop insulting Muhammad, you have to make a law to stop insulting any religion, which means all Muslims, they have to go to jail if, they, if you practice it, because all Muslims insult Christianity. All Muslims insult the Bible. All Muslims insult Jesus. So how you can practice such a stupid idea? So what is really, uh, uh, what what those people want and what, what the accomplishment? The accomplishment simply, maybe we can make a law, and even the, the Muslims, they uh, submit uh, uh, a request to the United Nations to criminalize anyone who insults Islam. Imagine, they are using United Nations to make a law that if you insult Islam, you go to jail. Now, for sure, uh, you know, they were not able to be successful. And many people, they were laughing at this idea. Uh, actually, if they make such a law, by the way, all the actors who work in Hollywood, they will go to jail. You will not find a single movie almost unless they say the F word to the Messiah. And we Christian, we don't do anything about it, and we will not. We believe everybody is free to say whatever he wants. But if you practice such a law, you will put those people in jail. So the stupid idea, those who sponsor it, they will be the first people to go to jail. However, I don't care who is speaking to stop insulting Muhammad. Muhammad himself is an insult to humanity. And we have the right to insult the insult. When we go in the Quran, and we find the Muhammad in the Quran, he called the Christians pigs and monkeys, the worst, worst, worst of the creatures, uh, najis, dirty, filthy. Uh, uh, kill them wherever you find them. And then you are saying, the one who insult Muhammad, we should stop him. Why? What's your problem? The problem is very simple. 
you are not insulting Muhammad you are exposing Muhammad and they don't want you to expose Muhammad Muhammad he used violence since the beginning of his message if we can call it a message and the Muslims today especially those who they are you know like uh, they play like okay we are not really we sponsor no violence they say Muhammad did not you know Muhammad was resisting Muhammad was fighting back Muhammad the, the verses in front of you if they repent and they do the prayer which means they convert to Islam they are your brother in religion and don't kill them and if they violate their oath and they leave Islam and they attack your religion fight them and by the way the Muslim they say uh, there is no apost uh, apostasy law in the Quran that is the verse in front of you you pray you convert to Islam with you know we don't kill you we stop killing you you leave Islam your oath what is the oath the Shahada you took an oath and they criticize criticized of your religion do you see it it's in the front of your eye this is the Muslim translation not my translation by the way this is the Mohammedan translation so if you criticize Islam anyone criticize Islam the Prophet of Islam his God saying kill him and the funny we have a Muslim in the chat he is saying proof <laughs> I like it <laughs> you know a Muslim when he listened to me he, he, he sound like a guy he's sitting inside the box uh, uh, and he closed the top of the box and he think he is isolated from the world and nobody can see him you are inside the box we see you it's like an, a, a, a rabbit who jump inside the hole in the ground and he think the fox did not see him jump in there he think he is secure there what do you mean uh, proof what proof it's in front of you on the screen are you going to say to me this is daif isn't it Muhammad who said I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they convert or die oath is not shahada okay let us, let us uh, if, see if this is the oath is the shahada so are you saying that shahada is not an oath this is what shahada shahada you witness taking an oath and the proof if you uh, violate your oath the shahada you die isn't it your prophet he says the one who changed his religion kill him <clears throat> Is that your prophet or someone else so the one who violate his oath and what is the oath you took what you did the shahada did you take another oath what you did oh what you did you said uh, Muhammad is a prophet that's it that is it. you witness that Muhammad is a prophet so if you leave Islam they kill you and here you see the terrorism of Muhammad start from the beginning that either you believe in me or you die there is no third option And the funny he says to me proof it's in the front of you and the verses in the front of us in the Quran is clear if they repent repent to do what what what, what repent look what repent is but if they repent and perform the salat which means the prayer and by the way here do you remember when David Wood he says to Mimi hijab the word salah mean a prayer huh? <laughs> he said no mean blessing <laughs> anyway but if they repent perform the prayer and give the cat so not only they have to convert they have to convert pray and give the money then they are your brother in religion and don't kill them But what if they are not but if violate the oath what is the oath the first one if they repent and they don't want to pray and they don't want to do zakat money is very important this is why uh, uh, Abu Bakr he said after the death of Muhammad if if somebody he will not pay us the zakat even the zakat is a little tiny goat I will kill him 
and he waged a war it's called the war of upper state you can search it right now in prophet Gogol peace upon him by the way in case you do not know prophet Gogol is a Muslim everything convert to Islam actually my TV is a Muslim there's a rabbit he's walking in front in the yard is a Muslim the mad uh, mad cult the cow is a Muslim the donkey is a Muslim the tree is a Muslim I mean what's wrong with those people so because Islam it is a pure cult and cannot stand without protection sword protection literally they have to keep it exist the only way is violence and try to intimidate people you know live or die you live as a Muslim or you die which one you choose well, people they will choose okay uh, okay when I live I have a family this is why we see in the Quran there's a chapter it's called the chapter of uh, uh, what it's called like a victory uh, <clears throat> When Muhammad he attack and he won the war you see the people entering into Islam by thousands what was the what what is the occasion victory what is the victory when comes the help of Allah to you Muhammad in what in the conquest of Mecca do you see it all people of Mecca enter Islam in one second Look, what happened yesterday they are anti Islam today in the second day they are Muslims all of them Do you see when the Muslim they say to you uh, Islam did not spread by the sword so yesterday the city all of it are Muslim anti-Islam they want to fight Islam and after two minutes they are Christians what happened they enter by thousands no debate no Zakir Naik I thought like Zakir Naik he went to Mecca and he said to them hey brother and sister if you come find better than the Prophet Muhammad I threatened you and let us debate together. I can assure you that in the Quran there is a lot of miracle. I did example. The Quran it is a lot of miracle, and I can count for you in this example. Like as an example, uh, as an example, um, give me the paper. Uh, as an example, not the paper. Yeah, as an example. Okay, I get the paper. Uh, as an example, the speed of the light. As an example, we Muslims we lie in the speed of light, and nobody can beat us on that. The speed speed of light. So Zakir Naik did not go there. Muhammad did not debate them. He just entered by the sword, and everybody became a Muslim. And this is the Quran witnessing for that. Yeah, no, no, I don't bite my tongue. <laughs> no, I don't. So this is. Uh, this is a pure cult, a stupid cult. And okay, here we go. Yesterday we have a we have a kid. His name is uh, Faris. Uh, by the way, Faris is like a man. He's not a kid. He's like maybe forty-five years old. So he wrote for me, "I hate you more than I hate myself." Now I understand you hate yourself. Why? Because you're a Muslim. But why you hate me? Because simply, I don't mind if you uh, if you uh, against Islam, but you use a bad language. Like what? I mean, look who is talking. The Quran call us all kind of filthy names. Starting from donkey. This religion is an enemy to everybody. Even the lizard is an enemy of Allah. Have you ever heard of a cult like this? They have even a fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, they want to kill him. Let us see the fatwa. Here we go. Saudi cleric Muhammad, etc. Mouse, Mickey Mouse must die. And by the way, Mickey Mouse is saying hello to you. He's okay. Even Mickey Mouse is a threat to Islam. 
So isn't it obvious that this cult is so stupid and so foolish? Mickey Mouse. So like what now? Uh, 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 Osama bin Laden, he will hit the building of Mickey Mouse? If we ask uh, Zach and Nick, why Mickey Mouse is a threat, he will tell you the following. A brother and sister. All of us will have teeth. And all of us will have a teeth at home. And if you have a Mickey Mouse at home, he will eat your teeth. Do you accept somebody to eat your teeth? Absolutely not. And this is why Mickey Mouse must die. And actually, if you have a mice at home, don't you put a poison for it? Let us be honest here. Don't we put poison for the mice? So why you are you making fun of putting fatwa on the Mickey Mouse? Which is the mice? Thank you very much, sister. Absolutely. I mean, we kill mice at the home. If you have a mice at home, I mean, why you are you being hypocrite? What's wrong with you? Everybody kill the mice if it's home. So best because it's a Muslim who said we have to, 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 to kill Mickey Mouse, you get upset. Uh, uh, but the brother Zach and Ike, this is a, a cartoon. <laughs> it's a cartoon, you idiot. <laughs> Unbelievable. Astonishing, really. How in the world anyone can believe in such a madness? Mickey Mouse. And what Mickey Mouse? It, they did not even make in Mickey Mouse anything against Muhammad. What this guy did? <laughs> and you know, what about Santa Claus? They have a fatwa in Santa Claus too. And the Muslims, because their kids, they love Santa Claus. In order to find Santa Claus idea, which is a very great idea actually, give it charity, help children, especially those who are poor. Uh, they come with the new Santa Claus. His name is Baba Muhammad. <laughs> okay, Baba Muhammad. Uh, I would try to find the news where it says, I don't know what. Uh, You know, in most of the Middle East, they call Santa Claus, they call him Papa Noel. Papa Noel. It's a French, you know. So the Muslims, uh, the Muslims, they come with the new Papa Noel. It's a Papa Muhammad. Why? Because Papa Noel is an, uh, uh, is a, what is like a, is a Muslim uh, Papa Noel is a is a Christian uh, idea. So we have, uh, and not only that, they have tons of articles in Arabic against Christmas. Do you know what Christmas mean? Do you know what a Christmas mean? And now the Muslims they want to scare the hell of the Muslims from the Christmas. And this is why you see like how weak this cult is. You know, if you search right now in YouTube, let us go to YouTube. All right. Wish others Merry Christmas or Happy Holiday. Haram. Haram. You cannot do that. Shame on you. Muslims celebrating Christmas. All those videos against Christmas by Muslims. Can we say to non-Muslims, to the Christians, uh, Happy New Year, uh, Merry Christmas? Uh, you cannot. For that is a threat to Islam. Islam is a religion who teaches violence, and uh, you know, so we cannot do that. You know, we Christian, we have no problem. I mean, you worship whatever you want. Uh, happy holiday, my friend. Whatever your religion is, what the problem? No, but because Islam, 
is opposing that we can get a close as a human together we cannot do that look at this uh, the, the, uh, the, this is the nurse of Femi hijab look at this guy fatwa brother and sister it is haram brother anyone who say Merry Christmas to the kuffar he is and and by the way a video like this YouTube will not take it do you notice YouTube will not take videos teaching hey this is hate teaching uh, but my videos is hate teaching <laughs> unbelievable isn't it is it weird all those videos are speaking teaching hate against Christians literally every single one of them and they wonder where terrorism is coming from like they, you know they cannot find where terrorism is coming from it's in the front of you And the reason they have a wave of hatred against anything have to do with civilization especially Christian civilization because they are afraid that the Christian civilization will make Muslims civil do we have any Muslim here who don't agree with us Yeah, you can complain. I mean, but you have endless to complain. Do we have any Abdul? Do you debate with any atheist? I have no problem with debate with an atheist. What he will say to me? He will tell me that he used to be an, an animal. Okay, I agree. He won. He was an animal. He's still an animal. So what we will debate about? Why I want to waste my time and debate about with an atheist? He want to convince me that he used to be a monkey. Okay, you are a monkey, and your ass is red. Actually, you you used to be a chimpanzee, and I agree. And why I want to debate with atheist? An atheist, he will beat me in two seconds. He will say, "Christian friends, do you like my banana?" I cannot lie. I say yes. He will say, "See, I told you, our origin is a monkey." Second question, he will say, "Do you have hair in your body?" I say yes. He says, "See." Our origin is a bear. I mean, come on, why don't we debate atheists? Debating atheists is debating somebody he believes in stupidity. Somebody believes in an animal. Why would I, I would debate about what? Do you have a book? Their best example is Darwin, who he, he captured a human being just because he's a black. He put him in a cage to prove that this is he is the origin of the monkeys. Right, you know, atheism is a racist a cult. Uh, by the way, atheism is a religion too, because a, a religion is a group of people believe in something, and atheism is a religion. All terrorist organization are Sunni. So, what is Hezbollah? <laughs> Mahdi, you are funny. What is Hezbollah, my friend? Hezbollah is not a terrorist organization. Al Houthi. Who shout death to America, death to Israel? Huh? Oh, you, your prophet is a terrorist, isn't it? Your prophet, he says. What about Ali and Hassan, who says kill those who don't believe in Allah? What about Ali who burn people alive? Give me, give me a break, Mahdi. Let your dad talk to me. So do we have any Muslim here want to tell us something good about this cult? What is left is, is good in this cult? What is left? You Muslim, you repeat uh, five times a day. Bismillah, Allah, man, Allah. Even that doesn't make sense. Have you ever heard of a God? He says to himself, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. So who are you? Okay, let me make a speech. In the name of a Christian prince, uh, but you are a Christian prince. 
I know I'm a Christian prince, but I have to say in the name of Christian prince. But you should not say in the name. You say that if you're speaking in front, like I mean, presenting somebody, uh, like you get the authority from that person. You, but when you talk, you cannot say in the name of Allah. If you are Allah, I mean, the first word in the Quran is a crazy. What, what, actually, by the way, this is not the first word in the Quran. Yes, it's the first chapter. But as you know, the Muslims they play with the Quran. They like to play with things. Like they like to play. If you go in the Quran, you will find that the chapter ninety-six is the first chapter which Muhammad supposedly received according to Muslims. Look here. A guy he come to you by by the way, this is here in the beginning. This is not a verse. This is addition. The Muslims they corrupt their book and they add it. Read with me, Allah. A guy he come to Muhammad, he said to him, Read, say hello, say assalamu alaikum. What's wrong with you? A guy is sitting in the middle of the cave in the middle of nowhere. He have no internet, he have no WhatsApp, he have no Instagram. Right away, you come to him and you say, Read. I mean, have you ever heard of an angel like that? And the proof this angel cannot be a Muslim. He did not say "Assalamu alaikum." Why "Assalamu alaikum," Muhammad? Something he learned later from the Jews. The Jews they say "Shalom," "Alaikum." This is a Jewish greeting. This is a Christian greeting. Peace to you. This is what the angel they say to Mary when they came to Mary. But as you see here. The angel supposedly he come to Muhammad. He did not say shalom, Muhammad. He just uh, you go inside the house, a play inside the cave, and you say to him, Read. Ha? I mean, what is this? And Muhammad, he did not say to him, Who are you? Isn't this a story stupid? The angel he appeared to Muhammad as a man, as Muslims they claim. So didn't Muhammad say to him, Who are you, idiot? And I will read what. So from the beginning the story is silly and here with the story the real story says that the, this man he squeezed uh, Muhammad three times if we ask all the Muslims who they are in the chat Muhammad was squeezed three times for what purpose who want to answer me who want to answer me why Muhammad was squeezed three times? Any Muslim? You see, you Muslim, you say Islam is anti-Trinity. And you are rejecting the Trinity, but everything in Islam is a three time in the name of Allah, the, the Rahman, the Rahim, three names. Allah is multiple of 99 names, which is number three. A Muslim, if he divorced his wife three times, he cannot marry the woman again unless she do boom boom with someone else. Why the angel he squeezed Muhammad three times? Any Muslim have an idea? <clears throat> huh? Let us see the story. Hold on. Read the story with me. Till suddenly the truth, the truth is who? Supposedly the angel. His name is the truth now. They change even his name. Descended upon him while he was in the cave of Hira. The angel came to him in it and asked him to read. The prophet replied, I do not know how to read, you idiot. <laughs> you know, here the story of Muhammad remind me of the pink panther. I mean, watch the pink panther. Uh, two. A pink panther too. It's exactly like the pink panther. What is that? 
The angel came to him and asked him to read. The prophet replied, I do not know how to read. Now here there is a problem. Do the angels know that Muhammad did not know how to read or not? Do Muhammad know or knew how to read or not? Muslim, they say he do not. Okay. Do the angels know or he do not? Any Muslim? And look, the poor Muhammad, he said to the angel, I do not know how to read and the angel what he do the angel he cut me and he's forced me he squeezed me and pressed me so hard to the point I cannot read no more what the heck is that is that how we teach somebody how to read by squeezing him until almost he die do you think the angel was trying to squeeze in the knowledge of Muhammad out of his bum who is a Muslim will tell us what the squeezing is about? We get the idea. Muhammad cannot read. The angel told him read. Now he's squeezing for what reason? Hmm? And again, Muhammad. And then he released him. I'm so glad he released him, man. Otherwise, until now, they will be squeezing each other. And then he said to me, read. I replied, which means again, I do not know how to read. Whereupon he cut me again and he pressed me at the second time till I could not bear it no more. Like, what the heck? What's happening here? This is, by the way, here we need some uh, background in music, like some action in music. Those hadith are all fake. Hey, Mahdi. If, if this hadith is fake, it means the Quran is fake, you idiot, because the Quran is a hadith, don't you know? I mean, what's wrong with you? Is it the Quran is a hadith and collected the same as the hadith? Even the Quran says the best of the hadith is the Quran. Obviously, you are ignorant. Ah, forget, oh, you are a Muslim. You earn it. You earn it, and nobody can compete with you. Isn't it the Quran is the best of the hadith? All of it is hadith. Look, look how many times the word hadith repeated in the Quran. All of this is hadith. So what do you mean? Read with me, read. I forgot you don't know how to read. I need to squeeze you. Give, you know, let me get closer. Allah nazzala ahsan al-hadithi kitaban. Do you see ahsan al-hadithi? Hadith. The Quran is a hadith. Hello. You know, I want to go to school in the Middle East. And the reason I was encouraged to go to school, especially after I became an adult, because they told me the teacher is a, is a pretty young female. And I said to myself, I wish she would do what Jibril he does with the prophet. Each time she asked me a question, she squeezed me. And I went there, I found the, the female, she was like a 65 years old. And like, I mean, this is not what they told me. And she wanted to squeeze me. I quit. I left the school immediately. What is a squeezing thing? Is that what do you do in Islamic school? You squeeze each other? Squeeze me, baby? And you notice here, Muhammad is not asking him why you are touching me. Stop touching me, man. I mean, a man squeezing a man. Shouldn't the other man say to him, what are you? Do what the heck are you doing? Shouldn't he punish him? Leave me, leave Brittany alone. I mean, it looked like Muhammad, he used to be squeezed. He's, he used to it. When he came in the street, he squeezed him. But Muhammad is like, what the heck? One more to squeeze me. Do we have any Muslim there?
uh, guys do you know any school they teach by squeezing and the teacher all are females and they are beautiful imagine how many guys they will register there I mean the school will will I mean the size of the classroom will increase so uh, I remember when I was in England uh, we have a classroom uh, we have two females they are from Turkey when they are in the classroom the classroom have like 45 people even the teacher he said where are you guys I'm coming from all the students from the other class they come to our class just to be in the class where those two Turkish girls are there they are literally in the bikini even the teacher he is so shy to look I don't really that the teacher he looked like he's going to fill in the in, in his face he cannot even look at them they were presenting Erdogan So, Muslims, what we would do now? What is the what is this? I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. I mean, look, if he is not a prophet, he won't be squeezed, especially three times. And look, he told him I cannot read, and then what happened? He asked me, uh, he released me, and asked me again to read. This is the third time, but again I replied, I do not know. I mean, what's wrong with this idiot angel? He he, he told you already, he do not know. Thereupon he cut me. For the third time, here we go, the Trinity again. The Trinity. And then he uh, pressed him so hard, and then he released him again, and he said, read in the name of your Lord. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why you did not tell him from the first time, read in the name of your Lord? The guy, he said to you, I cannot read. Tell him, read in the, what, what, what this is the three squeezing for. Any Muslim knows? Those hadith are made by Aisha, and your hadith is made by who? By Fatima, who she ate the Viagra and she get the power of forty men in sex. Hmm? When Allah He sent the Kufayt to Muhammad, Muhammad He made Fatima eat with him, but the Kufayt was sent for his private part to make it boing. Fatima she eat with him to do what? Just let it go. Come on. I feel sorry for uh, Ali. After Fatima, she ate this uh, Viagra for the power of 40 men. What she used to do to Ali in the bed? Only Allah knows, brother. I think she's squeezing 40 times. I don't know where this fly came from. Guys, should I dip it, dip it in the soup? I have a fly. I don't know where the fly is. should be there somewhere. It's open. I, I, I never saw a fly. This is, uh, this, I, I should register this day. Maybe when I open the door. Uh, by the way, in case like for those who they are uh, they are not educated, in case a fly fell down in your soup, the prophet he said you have to dip it uh, because there is uh, a medicine in one wing and the disease in the other wing. So look at the intelligence of Allah. By dipping it, dipping it, huh? uh, that the disease will be stopped by the medicine, which is the other wing. I mean, look at look at the logic. One wing versus the other wing. So now we have two wings, and each wing have uh, one wing have a, a cure, and the other wing have a disease. Uh, so what we do, brother? In this case, we can eat it. I mean, Muhammad, no wonder he did not know how to read. I mean, obviously, this is a statement of somebody he never read anything. Now I believe it. And I want to see the Muslims doing that, you know. I want to I wanna see those um, Abdul who claim that the, the Prophet, he taught medicine. Do it, do live videos, you know, dip it, dip it, <laughs> yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, only fly, only fly. And Muhammad he did not mention something else, no. But by the way, scientist uh, from Japan, there is a scientist, they are very well known. They did study this and they found that this is true. 
and the scientist name Yama I do lie Yama I fabricate Yama I'm Yama <laughs> the Muslim they make articles and they insert tons of names of people either they are not exist or they are exist but they never said what they said as an example brother George Bernard show he says if the prophet was exist brother he can solve all the problem of the world brother during the time of drinking his coffee in the morning George Bernard Shaw says that where which book uh, this book is not exist I will not sur be surprised if after I die the Muslim they say Christian Prince said yeah in his one of his books by the way Christian Prince before he die he gave a finger because you have to put a finger up he gave a finger to the sky to Allah and he said Shahada why Muslims you give a finger to the sky when you say Shahada I mean shame on you give your hand give a finger Do we have any Abdul? So to make it short, I don't, I don't want to make this video long, really. It's not my intention, uh, but I, I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet, especially with the squeezing and the wisdom he have. Actually, you know, what, what? Look, look here between two brackets what the Muslims, the advert. Antidote for it? Look, look at this language look empty dot I'm sh I'm so glad they did not say antibiotic Unbelievable. and by the way Muhammad uh, in case you do not know he don't have a degree but he is a doctor he is really highly highly education educated by Allah uh, one of the things which I find it astonishing when Muhammad he says as you know we mentioned that before that if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy and if the man, if the women have orgasm, the baby will be a girl. And obviously, if the man and the women they have orgasm at the same time, you will have a transgender. <laughs> I'm really this is deep. This is really deep. This is a truly, truly, a trolling prophet. I mean, who can come with this except a prophet of God? Think about it, just think about it, but not too much. If you think too much, you might flip upside down. And by the way, the prophet, he prophesied a lot of things. As an example, the Muslims, they used to uh, put their head before the Imam, he finished the prayer. So Muhammad, he come with a threat from Allah. He said to them, aren't you afraid? If you put your head up before the Imam, Allah will turn your head into a head of a donkey. And brother, if you don't believe that this prophecy is coming true, go and watch the Iranian Mullah's TV. Starting from Al Khomeini. Brother. So if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head as a head of a donkey. Prove it. Prove it. I got to prove it, prove it. I got to prove it, prove it, prove it. Who want to prove it? I'm really, really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. Think about it. Did I say think about it? It's haram in Islam to think. What's up? Sorry, guys, I take it back. Think about it. You are saying to a Muslim, think about it. Don't you know that it's haram? It's haram to think. Hmm. What do you have to tell about uh, uh, Imam Ali? <laughs> are you sure, Mahdi? Mahdi, do you want that? You are a Shia. Are you sure you want this, brother? Because if you op if I open the books of the Shias, you will not be happy. So I don't know. I mean, just I think I advise you to step aside. <clears throat> what I will say about them, they are liars, the same as the rest.
let me teach you what you're Ali and what your Imams they say to you let me find you something hold on here we go a brother when Allah he told Noah brother to make a ship uh, Allah made the lion uh, have a flu Muhammad and they want to explain how the lion get in the ship so they made him a flu but look the story is not here the story is not in the flu let us uh, let us fix this and make it in English but before we make it in English actually you know, let us make it in English right away <laughs> Mahdi it's your fault not my fault you are the one who made me go and and read what the Shia do all right so Allah inspired Musa's to wipe the flying and he sneezed and when he sneezed brother come from his nose two cats male and female <laughs> unbelievable and i was wondering where the where the cats coming from where the cats coming from and i could not find and then brother and the brother then now a brother he wiped the nose of the elephant and he sneezed that's true and then from his nose two pigs they came out male and female <laughs> are you satisfied the brother al Madi? <laughs> you think you are better than the sunni do you really think you are better than the sunni this is the books of the shia shall we continue the stories or you guys you have enough <laughs> oh boy Mean, 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 mean. Okay, they ask Abu Abdullah. Those are the family of the Prophet. They ask him, Abi Abdullah, how Allah created the fly? If, 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 if. Look how deep this guy. He know everything. The answer was. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Allah, brother, created the fly to him. You create the majestic, like you are a king, and the fly stop in your nose. <laughs> Actually, I saw in the TV how how the fly in the nose of Obama. <laughs> Here we go. They are telling the truth, brother. Uh. <laughs> man, oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> brother. The Shia, they are telling the truth, brother. Otherwise, how do you explain this disgusting thing, brother? <laughs> and I think there's one in George Bush, and there's one. <laughs> so this is the reason, brother, to create uh, the the brother, the fly, brother. Okay. Now, how Allah created uh, uh, what? How He created the dogs? The dogs are created from the Bit of the shaitan. If, 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 if. Me. Hmm. Uh, what about Allah? He created uh, Adam and Eve like two chickens. <laughs> okay, brother. I was asked about what Allah created, how Allah created the dogs. He said, He created them from the spit of the devil. He said, how is that? Oh, messenger of Allah. He said to them, the bird have fading from the sky and they have not seen the sight of the great in the dim. 
come let them i mean google translation is making me dizzy <laughs> <laughs> guys be honest don't you get fat because you are watching my my videos because you laugh a lot don't you how many of you is laughing right now be honest go go watch some uh, 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 you know comedy show they are not funny by the way I never enjoy any of them because they are I know what they will say next, so they are not funny for me. Do we have any Abdul want to say something? Allah created Adam like a chicken. Huh? Are those authentic? Sure, this is authentic. What are you talking about? A brother? What are you talking about, brother? All those books authentic. Al Kafi, Al Wafi, all the garbage, you name it. Hmm. <coughs> all right, forget about the Shia. We go back to the Sunni. Shia, Sunni is the same madness. The Shia, they say the Sunni books are stupid. The, the Sunni, they say the Shia, the, 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 the opposite like and the funny the the al khomeini he said the muslim sunni they have the biggest library uh, of uh, of the science of marahid which means the bathroom because too many hadith thousands is about from the west and down it's about sex penis ass etc but this is not really true i mean yes they have a huge library but the shia they have bigger library when it's come to the penis Do we have any Muslim want to call me? No, I cannot show water. I cannot show the watermelon story because I bought in a watermelon and I want to eat it. Thank you. The watermelon story is simple. The, the Sunni, they made a fatwa that it's okay to have sex with watermelon. <laughs> so the Shia, they were asking them, is it okay that the watermelon is a virgin or it's okay to have sex with watermelon which was going around <laughs> even watermelon you want to have sex with it I mean what's wrong with you everybody in the world eat watermelon except Muslims you cannot trust a Muslim to leave him with watermelon alone I will never do that. Trust me. Not my watermelon. <laughs> yeah, and the Shia, if the watermelon is a sweet, by the way, the Shia, I believe this is Shia watermelon. <laughs> if the watermelon is, is sore, it is not Shia, it's Sunni. <laughs> True story. Unbelievable. Man, oh man. <clears throat> Anyway, anyway, I think I think uh, uh, let me see if I have somebody in Skype. Maybe there's a Muslim. He he feel like he wanna call me and convince me because I'm almost convinced, by the way, to convert to Islam. I mean, Islam makes sense and everything. Uh, it makes sense that you will have seventy-two women. They they have no panties, and you can see the marrow of their bones. I like marrows, and I like bones, and my dog too. I don't have one. <laughs> oh, oh. Bones. I will see the marrow of the bones. Why? Is that sexy? Everything in this religion is stupid. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. This is how your female lovely wife in the heaven of Allah will look like, brother. Look at this.
we have to be honest. Uh, we have a Muslim here. I don't know. He's calling me a liar. <clears throat> Call me and prove me liar, Mr. Salim. Guys, Mr. Salim. Oh, he's saying call me coward. Salim is call, saying call me coward. I will call you coward, no problem. Coward, coward, coward. <laughs> I mean, it's English, English is funny, by the way. I don't think he meant that, but this is what he said to me. Call me coward. Okay, coward. Now, here we go, I will call you. Let us see who is the coward. Hello, coward. The coward is you are the one who told me to call you a coward. What's wrong? <laughs> so, what do you want to say to us? Are you a kid or are you a man? I am a kid. What is the age of a kid to be a kid? Under 21. So, uh, your prophet he married Aisha at the age of six. He was marrying a child. Uh, it, it was nine, it was not six. Don't but lie. You just told me 21, under 21 is a kid. Yeah, but you lied. You said six, but it's Hold nine. On. No, no, I did not lie. Here we go. You want to show you that it was six? Yeah, show me. I know it's nine. Okay, here we go. But you admitted that anyone who marry under 21 is a marrying a kid. Yeah, but admit you lied. It's nine. It doesn't say six. Okay, here it is for us. Here we go. It's in the front of you. I don't see anything. It's in the screen. It's in the screen. I know, but I don't see anything. It says it doesn't say anything. It says the prophet married her when she was six years old. Read it. <clears throat> yeah, but I've seen I've seen a different one where it says nine. And, okay, so you who is the one is lying now? You told me I'm lying. Show me the one that no, says no. he married. Oh no, show me the one that says he married her at the age of nine. Okay, give me a second. Hmm. Give me a second. Post it in the chat. Yeah, give me a second. Hmm. Let me go on the website. Do you know the hadith where, where it says that she was playing with her dolls? Yeah, I know the hadith she was playing with, your, with her yeah, dolls. Yeah, show me that one. It says nine. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. You know, you know, you lied. So you want you want to prove to me that your prophet is a good man? He married a child at the age of nine and praying with her dolls. This is what you are trying to that's prove to us. <laughs> That's not the point. Uh, no, no, this is the point. You are the one who said she is playing with her dolls. So she is a kid. What kind of a prophet at such an age? If Muhammad he married her at the age of six, she was she was 54. At the age of nine, he is 57. What kind of a man he marry a child? She is playing with her doll, and he claimed to be a prophet of God, and he's almost 60. Wait, give me. This. I'm gonna prove you wrong. No problem. No, no problem. No, no, no. You, you know, you prove me wrong already. You are the hero, brother. What kind of a prophet? He marry a child. She is playing with her dolls. No, but back then nine was like eighteen. Now, ah, that... back then nine like eighteen. Uh huh. Just, Why they have a double? Used to be really mature back then. <laughs> <laughs> but she wasn't playing with the dolls. You told me that. I mean, she is like 18 playing with her dolls. You just said that yourself. No, is it you who said to me, show me the hadith where Aisha playing with her doll? So here we but go. She is in the wife. She is in the wife. She is in the wife of the prophet playing with her doll. How you say she was mature, but she is playing with her dolls. That's not the point. You're trying to change the topic. This is the you point. This is the point. You say that she is mature. But you are the one who said she was playing with her dolls. So how she is mature playing with the dolls? Explain to us. We are listening. If I send you the hadith, are you gonna put it up on screen? Sure, sure, no problem. I will put it for okay, you. Give me a second. Yeah. Just give me a second. I'm trying to find it. Because I have a hard copy. I don't have the website thing. Mm. Give me a second. <laughs> Bear with me. Yeah, found it. Okay. Don't waste your time. Here we go. It's in the front of us. 
even the chapter yes. name playing with the dolls go ahead what do you want to say to us it says it says nine doesn't it wait it says nine give me a second man oh, this is long you know it says nine it, it never says six i've never seen one hadith that says six you're a liar i just show it in the screen everybody saw it let me see i'm checking now hmm. scroll 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 down hmm. This hadith does not speak about the age. The hadith speak about the age is this one. Here we go. And I know for sure there's one way he says uh, she was nine. No, he married her at the age of six. He had full intercourse with her at the age of nine, which means from yeah, from, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. so from yeah. six to nine, so nine to, uh, six to nine, he was putting his private part between her legs, but at the age of nine, he have intercourse. Okay, and she was mature at the age of six or nine. Okay, fine, but you said she was six. That's my point. My she point was six. Is Here we go. Aisha says he married her at the age of six. It's one of you. Don't you know how to read English? The prophet married her when she was six years old. She is already officially his wife. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so now what kind of a prophet he married six years old child? I, put, I just explained to you oh. um, back then girls used to be more mature than well, they here are today. We go. She is mature to the point she is playing with the dolls. How mature is uh, that? Uh, I don't have an explanation for that, to be honest with you. Mm, okay. So, what? Okay, you know what? Forget about everything. You call me names, liar, etc. I want to give you a chance to prove Islam to me to be a good religion or to be, to be uh, like a true religion. How you can do that? Anything. Anything you wish. Say. Go ahead. How you how you can convince those people we have like 800 900 people watching uh, uh, actually we have 1022 right now uh, how how you can convince us Islam is uh, is it true well first of all um I will start off by you know pointing the um, scientific miracles in the Quran that's wonderful which one, uh, one of them being the, well how was how, how was a, a literate person um, like, um, able to write such a book like what like the Quran, like well, the Quran is full of mistakes. Give me, give me, give me the scientific yeah, book on look, the Quran. The guy was illiterate, so um, my friend. He, first of all, he did not write any book. Secondly, it's you Muslims who write it after him. Secondly, you said the Quran have scientific miracles. Show me. Yeah, one one of them um, is the uh, that I can think of from the top of my head um, mm. is um, the fingerprints. The fingerprints. Oh, you know, in the Quran? Yes. That's amazing, my friend. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I will open the website where it's talking about those things and I will go to fingerprint. Here we go. This is the website, the Muslim website. No, no, no. Go, go, go to the Quran. Don't go to we the website. We will go to the Quran. We'll go to the Quran. We, we will see which verse is speaking about the fingerprint so we can laugh together. Here we go. Guys, is it this is the one says the maker of fingerprint? Here we go. This is the fingerprint. Give, give me the verse of your choice if you don't agree with them. Maybe you have different verse. Here they have 75. I don't know. I don't know which verse it was okay. about this stuff. Okay. That's what I've heard. Where, where in the verse it says we are going to re, re, uh, con, uh, construct his finger, uh, finger. It says fingertips. What fingertips have to be to do with fingerprints? Fingertips is the bones, the end of the. Uh, oh, it's, chapt uh, um, it's chapter 74, uh, verse 4. 75, verse 4. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. What? Where is the fingerprint in the verse? All what it says here that Allah, he. Do the man think that he cannot collect his bones? Let us go. Let us go there to the Quran and love together and see how Muslim they fabricate a story. Here we go. This is the verse. Everybody will laugh in a second. This is have nothing to do with fingerprint. Muslims are lying. <clears throat> Does the man disbelieve that he we cannot uh, 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 shall not assemb uh, assemble his bones? So the verse speaker about what his bones? Yes, we are able to put together perfect order the tips of his fingers. Where is the fingerprint? Yeah, but look, here's the question. The question is how how can an illiterate man um, know that fingertips have something unique? What's uh, so where is something unique? It says we are going to put even because those are the smallest in the body. And they are because they are small. It's hard to put them together. So he is saying, "Don't the man knows that we can? You th he think you cannot assemble his bones together in the judgment day? No, we can. 
even his fingertips why you Muslim lies and they make it about fingerprint what is the fingerprint I just told you my um, the question is not <clears throat> you okay, are the I, one I remember you are the one who lied to me says that this verse about fingerprint so you have to admit that you Muslims are a bunch of liars lying fabricating miracles this is not a miracle and have nothing to do with fingerprints where is the fingerprints well the miracle is the fact that how can this illiterate person um how you know how can he how can he have known about the, the finger tips have something what unique? fingertips everybody knows that fingertips fingertips in english exist but you know people they speak about fingertips since centuries and a thousand of years what are you talking about the human being he die he have bones and every part have a have a name and fingertips is fingertips so you are telling me how he know fingertips that's amazing I know about the pinky. Does that mean I'm prophet? I'm God? Come on. Okay, give me the from miracle. This one uh, we uh, we got that busted. I will give okay, you I'll that. give you that one. Okay, I'll give oh. you that one. <clears throat> Which one you want? No, as I said, you're right about this one. I'll give you this one. Mm, which one? Okay, what about the speed of light miracle? That um, a lot of Muslims um speed of light. Let us go to the speed of lights. You know, but uh, but I, I want you to be sure this is the one you want because you will be sorry very fast. Yeah, but <laughs> I think it's verse 30, uh, chapter 32 verse 5. Okay, let us go to speed of light miracle. <coughs> and people will laugh. Speed of light. Here we go. Speed of light. It says chapter 32 verse number 5. Is that the verse you want? Yes. Okay, what does this have to do with the speed of light? This is speaking about the angels, isn't it? Yep. Okay, is the angels are uh, they are moving in the speed of light? Mm. Let me read it. Mm. Give me a second. No, no, show it to me from why are you showing me this website. I don't want to see the website. This is the verse. This is the Muslim translation who based their their um, uh, false fiction on it. This is where you get your information. You yourself, where you get your information from here. No, I've just heard it from people. Ah, okay, okay. Chapter thirty-two, verse number five. Open it and read it for us. <clears throat> it's a lie. Actually, this lie enough for us to prove Islam to be. A big fat lie because if the angels are moving in the speed of light that's mean Allah he live inside the galaxy our galaxy and there's many galaxy this is not the end of the world because 1,000 year of a speed of light will not even take you out of our galaxy this is how it's, it's, either, are. it's either you a liar or the old bunch of lies well here we go it's in the front of you huh this is about the angels going down to Allah and going up to Allah. Each trip will take 1,000 years of our counting. Where is the speed of light? They are lying. They fabricate issues. Secondly, here we have a problem. And thank you for mentioning this. If the angel Jibreel, he came to Muhammad to deliver a message 1,400 years ago, mm. based on this verse, in order to Jibreel to come back second time, he have to go back to Allah 1,000 years and then come back to Muhammad 1,000 years. That's 2,000 years. So Jibreel, wait, how did you get, how, wait, wait, how did you come up with 1,000 years? Because it says here that the angels, they go to Allah in a day to Allah equal to 1,000 years of our time. So in order to go to Allah, they have to travel for 1,000 years of our time and to come back another 1,000 years. So in order for the angels to deliver the second verse to Muhammad, they have to come after 2,000 years from the first verse. And this is a proof Muhammad to be a false prophet. I think I think that's a mistake or something. Because what, what do you mean mistake? Yeah, you are the one who chose the verse for me. <clears throat> yes, but I've never read the um, I've never read the verse. The verse in the front of you. Read it now. Don't tell me you never read it. He arranges every affair from the heavens to the earth. Then his affair would go up to him in one day. Mm. The space of is a thousand years of your reckoning, i.e., reckoning of our present mm. worst time. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so this is a mistake, isn't it? This is not a miracle. This is a stupid mistake. Because how Muhammad received the second verse after a few weeks? If each time 
the angel he need to go to Allah it take him 1,000 years to go 1,000 years to come back mm. Mm. so they lie to you don't they I don't have an explanation for this to be honest okay this is the second one you don't have explanation to it but no, it... the first one I told you I told you it was nine it was not six no you talk about the speed of flight I'm saying and, oh, yeah, yeah, and the right first one she was one. six I showed you the proof it was six years old so now this is the second one regarding the miracles they are stupid give me the third stupid one here we go it's your choice I told you about <coughs> the illiterate man choose for me something difficult something very hard something amazing look I hear you most of the, all of the times you say sometimes you know this uh, Muhammad was illiterate and sometimes you say no he was not illiterate so according to Muslims he is illiterate according to me he's not but anyway as long as Muslims believe he's illiterate who okay. care at the, at the either way he's a stupid that will not change anything here we go well, how do you explain the fact that he was able to produce such a thing was able to do what um, book what book he did not this what is a book this is a joke what uh, this is a book <clears throat> what is the book do you mean what is the book what is the book Muhammad he did not make a book Muhammad he was saying things and then the Muslim collect after after he died they don't have a book what is the book of Muhammad they don't have it even the Quran what says the even the Quran says in Alina Jamahu wa Quranahu it is on us to collect it and to recite it and Allah did not collect it it was uh, Uthman ibn Affan so Muhammad did not leave a book for you. This is a false well, a fiction story. Here we go. Chapter 42. Huh? Okay, so who okay, look, I've heard something, but I don't know if it's true. <laughs> uh, is it true that um those um Uthman who gathered the Qurans and he burned them or something like that? Yeah. Is that true or is just well this is what the Muslim says? I, I wasn't there. But they say that Uthman he burned the Quran. Why? Because there was many Quran. There are different stories. Okay, but did Abu Bakr not have his own Quran? Like, did, did everybody you know. supposed to have his own? Even uh, they say Fatima she have, Hafsa she have, etc. However, Uthman he burned more uh, all the Quran. That's proof that that Quran was not the same book for each. Otherwise, why you want to burn it? But this is let us not to change the topic. Give me something. No, because look look here's how I think about it yeah <coughs> you have you can apply two tests you, like in Christianity you apply two tests it's, did Jesus um, raised from the dead was he crucified and all these sort of historical things um the Quran of, to you know to Islam I think is the same is either is the Quran authentic or uh, was Muhammad a prophet so as you know if you if you prove one of them false then you know everything you know false so that's why I base uh, my argument on. on okay, no on problem. But I, so I'm giving you a chance to prove to me Islam is right. I ask you, give me something to prove to me that Islam is right. Uh, you give me two things until now we get them busted. What do you want more? Give me something. All, all, like how, all. How can, you, how can you prove to me that Quran was corrupted or it's not the same as. No, I cannot say. I cannot say the Quran is corrupted because you cannot corrupt the corrupt. I mean, what's the point of corrupting the corrupt? Cor it's a corrupt. Muhammad is corrupt. His God does not exist. So you want you want me to prove that the corrupt is corrupt? It doesn't make sense. Secondly, this is very easy. If about changing, even the Muslims agree that the first chapter in the Quran was given to Muhammad is the one we are reading about, where Angel he came to him and he squeezed him three times. But this this chapter now is chapter number ninety six. If Allah sent it to you in that order, who are you to change it? Nobody have the right to change it. What about Aisha? She said that the goat ate the Quran. There's a chapter about breastfeeding for adult where uh, a goat ate them. And this goat until now is missing. Read the verse, uh, Hadith, for us. <laughs> Wait, it's coming. Um, this was were abrogated in yeah, but those verses he says that they were um, abrogated. Were abrogated? Okay, do you have the verse? Do you have the verse? No, they, Recite. No, they were abrogated in um, re, um, recitation. No problem. No, what what recitation? It says okay, hold on. The verses, the verses were abrogated in recitation. Okay, but that means you know the recitation. What what is the recitation? Nobody know them. And the goat ate them. Where is the verse? 
and who is the one who says the verse is abrogated by recitation? And then he says, "Look what I mean." It says, "It says that it says these verses were abrogated by uh, okay." Hold on, other hadith, Lord. other hadith says, "Establish the number of four by five. Okay, where is the where is where is the where is the verse of uh, five? There's no ten, there's no five, and how it's abrogated by uh, uh, recitation, but not by ruling. How stupid is that? If the ruling stay, why you abrogate the recitation for the benefit of who? Well. Well, what this means is basically that um, imagine, right imagine, hold on, hold on, imagine, imagine we have a law, we have a law. It says everybody yeah. have to stop in and read the traffic light, and then we say this law is demolished, but you have to practice. What the point? There's no point. So as long as it's a law, that means it should stay. So when the Muslim says abrogated by recitation, it's a big fat lie because they cannot fight in the Quran. So mm -hmm. how the ruling stay? What the point? If Allah wants us to practice that, and by the way. Do you Muslims practice as breastfeeding for adult? Uh, wait, do you mean men? Yes, this is about breastfeeding for adult. Do you see it? It says adult. Oh, no, what now? Not that I'm aware of. They might do it in other parts of the world. What it says, a breastfeeding countries like I don't know, they might do in countries like Pakistan or something. I'm not sure. This is Pakistan. This is this is uh, Saudi Arabia. This is the prophet. So, this is Allah, He sent you. To your wife that she have to give her breast to a stranger and he suck at ten times. What do you think about this God? But I think this is for Shia because this is Sunni, my friend. This is Sunni. This is Sunni hadith. This is Sunnah Ibn Majah. What's Shia? What's uh, you know? We can show it from the Sahih Bukhari. We can show it from Sahih Muslim. This is Sunni. Is this a Sahih hadith. Yes. Um. So what do you think about God? He says to your wife, with my respect to her, to give her breast to a stranger. Yeah, that's a bit that's a bit weird. Weird? That's weird or stupid. Be honest. Um, like I said, I'm not sure. They might do it in other countries. I'm my friend, I'm who care which country? I'm talking about Muhammad now, not about a country. We're not talking about country. We are talking about Allah. He sent verses that a woman she she have to give her boobs to a strange man and he have to suck it ten times. To the point, even Aisha, she was ordering her niece to suckle anyone when I enter up our, uh, uh, to, to, to see her. What do you say? Um, I, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Well, this God is a false God. There's no way. There's no way a God, he would say that. Look at this. You hear related. From Malik, from 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 from, etc. Yeah, et I'm Prophet, sure that okay. there are other interpretations okay, as well. Okay, that Aisha, uh, uh, he could not meet uh, Aisha because he admitted to uh, to her sister uh, uh, and daughter of um, her brother had nurse. So uh, in order to see Aisha, you have to nurse her sister. Her sister, she have to take off her breast from her bra, boing. And then you start sucking, and you have to suck it ten different time in ten different day, and each time you suck until you cannot continue no more. What kind of God this God is? What did what did Zach and Ike say about this verse? What Zach and Ike says about this verse? Yeah, what did he say? Take care. <laughs> okay. Zakan I what Zakan X is about this <laughs> Zakan Ike brother he opened a drive through breastfeeding brother and he is running right now <laughs> brother and sister the prophet was very open minded and because he's open minded he allowed Muslim women Against what the Wutan they think, they think that women in Islam think about herself, and because he that he is oppressed. In fact, he is not oppressed to the point a Muslim woman is free to give her boobs. Anyone can take her boobs. What the heck is that? What Zakir Naik? We talk about your prophet. You tell me what Zakir Naik said. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm uh, I'm thinking to emigrate to the moon, man. Sometimes I think I feel like I'm not from this earth. Shia don't do breastfeeding for adults. Shia they rent their daughters around. 
Give me a break. Yes. Why did you hang up? Hello? Yeah, why did you hang up? What Zakir Naik have to do with this now? No, I'm just asking if you know his position What's on Zakir this. Naik? I mean, here we go. Give me your position on that. This is a, a you know, a second for adult. What we will do? Yeah, I told you I find it weird, but I, I, I just asked you if you know what Zakir Naik's Zakir position Naik, on this. Zakir Naik, I never heard him speaking about that. But what he would say, this is a prophet saying he have to agree. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty black and white, to be honest with you. Hmm. So what do you think about what this cult? Think about Still, you want to believe in Islam? You want to believe in Islam? Well, I need, I need more evidence. You, you are, you know, you are the one, one who was giving me evidence a second me. ago. You, all your evidence failed to prove Islam to you. Everything you gave me until now, it was bad, not good. <clears throat> Fabrication. Hmm. I'll try and think and why, more things. And why an adult like you, you want to see what Zakir Naik says about that? I mean, who is Zakir Naik? Zakir Naik is not a scholar. He's an idiot. He's stupid. Yeah, I know. I've read some um, articles about him recently. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll think I'll think about it um, and I'll, I'll call you back. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. No Thank problem. You. No problem. Okay. So this guy, he called me in the beginning. He called me liar. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure what we can say. Uh, Faris, he was calling me. Hold on. Let's see what Faris want to say. <coughs> Hello. Yes, Faris, how are you? Doing great. What about you? You still you hate me, Faris? Yeah, of course. How, much, how much? How much you hate me, Faris? Be honest. Like I told you, as much I hate my life. But why you hate your life? I, I, okay, I got it. Because you are a Muslim, you hate your life. Is that why? Right? It depends. You see, it's my life. Yeah. Well, you, but I will leave no, it aside. Hate, but just one question. You hate your life because you are a Muslim, it, isn't it? No, no, it's not. So a what reason you hate it? Your, your mother-in-law she's beating you. <laughs> Do you have four wives? Be honest. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, be honest. No, no, still. How many wives do you have? She, huh? How many? How many wives I have? Yeah. No, no, I have. I don't have any wife really. You are, she kicked you out. No, no, still, still, still. I, okay, you, I, you got it. I got it. You know, you don't want to. You want to. You don't want to get internet. You are using the internet of the neighbor. And your wife, she said to you, either you get at the internet like everybody, or I will leave you. And she no, left you. Okay, okay, stay sheep. sheep. Whole, okay, so now, uh, uh, Faris, why are you calling me? What do you want to say to us? Yeah, thank you so much. Really. Mm. Just can you give me just three messages, okay? Mm. Okay. First of all, did that caller left Islam? I didn't hear the last one. Yeah, almost, almost. He's uh, he would oh. he, he would think about it. Okay, no problem. Can you just give me also like message me about his Skype also, if possible? Why you want to talk? You, you want to talk to him so he will not leave Islam? No, no. If, if he left, see, my message will become will be to the Muslim. Just don't worry. Can you just do it or not? Simple. Yes or no? Uh, I, Simple. I, I am. I am not uh, authorized by anyone to share anything. People, no. I, no. I don't give no. your Skype to other people too, especially no. girls, because no. you know you are very handsome. And if I give your Skype to Thank the girls, they will go crazy. See, yeah, yeah. And, and maybe you have the I'm power of, handsome. and maybe you have I'm the man. power of forty men like, like the By the way, how, how come? The, <laughs> yes, why Allah he wait, made wait, the prophet? Wait. Hold on. Why Allah he made my the prophet have the power have of forty message. men? Why Allah he made the prophet have the power I, of forty men in bed? Again, again. Why Allah he made the prophet have a power of forty men in bed? Can you repeat? Can you do it in Arabic, please? What's, what's wrong with you in Arabic? Like, and, and, I didn't think of the point. Why, why Allah, why Allah gave Muhammad the power of 40 men in boom boom sex? Why, why you have a power of 40 men? And who is the one who measured the 40 men? Like what they did, they make like a race, they brought a lot of men and they are having sex together, and then Muhammad is the one, the winner. How Muhammad he was measuring the, his power of 40 men. Okay, I get your point. About that, he's a prophet. Like, like I told you, also he was fasting. Like no one can ever do. Like his company was trying to compete with him about the fasting, but they couldn't. He said, "Like I'm not like any man of you." Nobody so saw him about, fasting. I mean, he go home. He eat. 
You see, I, I already give you that answer about this one. I don't have that much deep about okay, this let, one. Let, and okay, you are okay. like I, you insulting. Know, I, I, have, yes, I, have I, have a, I have a personal question about me. I have a personal question. Hold on, Faris. I have a personal. I have a question. I need your help. I need, I need your help. It's not about your private. It's not about about me. Sometime I imagine myself yeah. having sex, but in fact I did not. What do you think about that? You? Yeah. Sometime I imagine I'm having sex, but in fact I mm -hmm. did not. It was the pillow. So what do you think about that? Maybe you have. Uh, huh? Who knows? Really, you ask about sex. Maybe you need the doctor or no, something. No. What do you think? Like, do you think I'm sick or something? You sick? I know you're going to refer to some kind of hadith because at ah, that time. This is why you're afraid to give me the answer. No, no. I know you will refer to. No, no. uh, you know, yeah, no. this is a Christian prince. He will get no, me busted. No. I'm asking no. you. So if no, somebody, kind of if somebody imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not, time. and he was lying. Once you finish, please tell me. Well, it's very polite. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm very polite too, brother. It's I'm very polite. Uh, okay. It too. says, brother, it says that the prophet he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. So what is this, what is the situation uh, did, of your prophet? What he was suffering from? Did you finish? Yes, I finished. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Finish. Finish. La ولا ولا خالف ما Okay, you see, Christians, uh, just a message, a quick, quick, quick message to the Christians. Quick, 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 I want the answer. Again, I want the answer. Again, again, again. Why you're a prophet? You, you how how that, come you're yeah, a prophet? Is, Even his okay. sex is not real. I got that. Even his sex is point. fake. There's no witness. Even his sex have no witness. Okay, he saw Jibreel. There's no witness. Okay. He went to Allah. There's no, no witness. No. He made miracles. There's no witness. Yeah. Even his sex. There's nobody there. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Here we go. He imagined himself having sex, but the fact it was not the, the wife. It was the goat, maybe. So what we can, how we can, how we can believe Muhammad to be a prophet if this guy he imagined things happening, but they did not happen. I'm listening. Go ahead. Thank you so much, but don't interrupt. Just simple. You see, at that time he was being under the magic. You see, Masutan Masutan. What? Hold on. Are you serious? The prophet he was under the magic. Yes. What, what does that mean? Why not? Does that mean he was bewitched? Being wished? Bewitched. Bewitched. You, bewitched. you see, bewitched. The thing, my answer about this one, you see, hmm. he is like any human. He was a human like any other human. I'm so glad you he see, was a human. He I thought he's a legator, man. I'm so glad that you gave me such an answer. See, I'm really he, amazed he with it. Okay, I'm asking you. He was you, you be, he was bewitched. Is that oh, true? Question, he, question, question, question. He was question, right? he was bewitched. Is it true? <laughs> Is it true he was bewitched? You see, he was under the black, black, black. Okay, so he I was bewitched. The is, so, okay, the hate in front of us, it says actually, once the prophet was bewitched. So, you are a person who follow a bewitched prophet. How you can do that? Once you, once you finish, tell me. I finish. I'm asking you see, I'm here. how you follow a bewitched thank you, prophet. Thank you. you see. You you will do it like yesterday. You would question after question because if I ask you a question, you will not even maybe will not answer. You you answer me, the ask me the question. Here we go. We are having conversation. Not, Faris. Faris, I will tell your mother in law. I will tell your mother. I will tell your mother Allah about about the yogurt you ate yesterday without you her permission. Do you see that? So are you going to you answer me or not? That's why I'm asking, and I will give an answer, but don't interrupt. Okay, here we go. I'm waiting. I'm going to take a nap. Thank you so much. You see, I have told you. Hmm. He is like any other human. You see, don't interrupt, please. Mm. He is like any other human. He received like, uh, you see, he was like received like any other human, being like suffering on everything. At that time, someone with someone is called like uh, Hoya ibn Asim. Someone I, I forgot his name really. Mm. You see, he talks one of the Atakat Sarat and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Khalaha Mishat, and then he took care oh, from his ass. And he what was. Are saying. You see, I told you to Christian praise. If you insult, I will insult back. I'm not you insult. See, I'm you said he took hair from him. Where did the if hair come from? Okay, where he come? You are the it's one who said he okay. took. Okay, you said you said I he would... took hair from him. The hair from where he took it? How he can take hair from his body? How a man? See, how a man he can take hair from your body? Is he sleeping with the prophet? How the man? How uh, this Jewish man? He was able to take hair from the body of Muhammad. Tell us. Go ahead. But once you finish, you see, do you see Christians? He have uh, this guy have. You are saying to me that the prophet took, was bewitched by taking you, some of his hair. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. how he got his hair? What? Do you have see, a? Do is, they have a barber shop at that time? I swear to God, even Zakir Naik will not win. I always, I swear, even Dr. Zakir Naik, if he debate you on this one, 
he will not win. Nobody can Just win anything. That time. That's all. Nobody can win. No one will beat you. Nobody can win. No one, that. I'm telling you. Yeah, of, of course. Okay, no okay. So you said, you said that a man, he controlled him by the hair. How he did that? You see, I you, you misunderstand everything. You mm -hmm. see, like any hair, you see, it's possible like it's been pulled down. It's possible like in anywhere because he was contacting with the Jew, everything, no problem. You see, I don't, okay. And this one is what like under the black magic. So he just like imagined something that he's doing and but he didn't. So what's the problem? Like he is like any other human. He was under the black magic. So okay, do you imagine? What, what, okay, hold. Okay. So was okay. No, no, no. You, you wait, said wait, hold wait, on, wait, hold on. You wait, said wait, he is wait, like wait, any no, no, other wait, human. Wait, wait. You other human. You want to close it? Is that normal to be bewitched? Wanna... Is that normal to be bewitched? You said like he is every human. I never been bewitched. You been yeah. bewitched before? Even I'm sure about did, that. This is also did anyone did, sure anyone, about that. did anyone bewitched you before? No, me. Okay, yeah. Me, no, no, no. Still. Okay, any one of your family was bewitched. bewitched? Any one of your family was bewitched before? No, alhamdulillah. So you are saying that Muhammad is not the same as everybody. You are you are saying the opposite now. You said he is the same as every human, but not every human. He was bewitched, only the Prophet. You mis misunderstood everything. No, I did not. Okay, name, like name for me. Okay, okay. Name for me. One person Once was bewitched said, from everybody around Muhammad, Abu Bakr, Omar, Aisha. Interrupt. Only Muhammad was bewitched. Why Muhammad only? Interruption. Okay, don't interrupt. You see, I have, like I told you, if someone is being beaten, does that mean I have to be beaten? My point is, he is a human. He will receive like any like pain, suffer something like this and that. Any any like damage. Like mm. any human, it's mm. possible. You see, you was an Iraqi, you know, perhaps you are, you are an Iraqi. I know. I am an Iraqi. You know okay. what? Like, okay. Yeah. Iraqi, in the Iraqi. The important thing is, whether you are Iraqi or not, from 2014 when you were elected to the United States, you are not Iraqi. 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 لا تحكي العربية. اسكت 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 I will cut my hand. I will cut my my twenty foot beard if you are not a Pakistani who live in Bahrain and they give you citizenship. You don't speak Arabic. You don't speak Arabic. It's not Arabic. Your Arabic is funny. Go ahead. Okay. Now answer, 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 answer. Now answer. Okay. You said you said Muhammad was bewitched like everybody. Name for me anyone in the time of Muhammad was bewitched beside Muhammad. How come only Muhammad okay. was the only? Oh, by the Wait. way, bewitched is a magic. Where the magic came from? From Allah or from the devil? Is, uh, I will, first, first, I'll go one, one point. Wait, one point, one point. You see, mm. you are the guy. You're saying, uh, you're saying that I'm not Arab. No problem. Mm. One challenge, one challenge. Mm. Only one challenge and you accept it. Mm. Just let you and me speak fluent classical Arabic just for four minutes. Mm. Okay, four minutes. You are the guy. I have heard a lot of rumors that Christian prince that is trying to like translate the Arabic Quran. I was really, I was shocked. How come a Christian prince hmm. translate the classical Quran hmm. and he don't know the classical thing? What the oof, fuck oof, is that? Oof, 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 oof. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, okay. Right? I wanna, I wanna. Right? Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm going to go with you. I, I accept that challenge. Read for us. Thank you. Sir. Read for us. No, it's not read. This let's, the, let's go. This is the classic. Go ahead. Huh? You want the classical, you see? Read it. Christians, read it read Christians, it. read it. Christians, hear this properly. I will read it, no problem. Christians, hear this properly. This guy is claiming that he knows the classical Arabic. 100%, not 100, 1,000% sure. The guy don't know the Arabic words. He is, a, he is an Arab. I'm not denying that. From Iraq, I'm not denying that. You see, <laughs> this is, uh, well, can, there are different accents. There is Iraqi accent, Saudi accent, Bahraini accent. Qatarian accent, Kuwaitian accent. There are accents, but the classical Arabic, you don't know. Speak to us in classical Arabic. Class Let us laugh. Yalla, <laughs> وأخبث وأهبل من دجاجة وأنا سوف أجعلك طبخي ومنها سوف أصنع لبخي وسوف يضحك عليك الناس ويقول عليك أنك ابن فرناس 
طرف الهواء ووقع كنس ناس لكنك أحلس وحلاس ولا تفهم من الطبيس طباس وأنت واقع بدون لباس أنسر الآن الآن يا إخوة النصارى العرب You see, uh, just one question, uh, one minute, uh, please. I, I uh, said to I, you, I said to you, Saja, I said to you, poetry, yeah, no, answer no. me. I just made a poetry just for you about your underwear, about your stupidity, you about I will kick you like a chicken in the classical Arabic. Now answer me. I just made it up. Answer me. Go ahead. I, will... I want to see how good you are. Go ahead. Did I make a poetry for you and make fun of him, for of you and everybody is laughing at you? I want you to answer me. Don't change the topic. You are the one who challenged me. Answer me back. You you are. This is a poem. So what happened? You just challenged me a second ago. So you see, I I can I can't talk to you until tomorrow. Just by just by making point point. I answer you by point. I made it about you. I'm a point man. You idiot. I am a point man, you idiot. I can make I can make you the joke of the century. So don't challenge me. Now, I answered you. I want you to answer me. What I said, translate to the people. What I said, translate, translate. No, it's not translate. You see, once you're done, please give me the time. That's what I'm asking. Okay, go. <laughs> Thank you so much. You see, I have made the points. You see, I first of all I did put a project for my Christian English that who not uh, and like. Uh, able to understand the, uh, the Arabic. I didn't really apologize. Go on. I'm waiting for you. You said to me, uh -huh. you answer me in Arabic. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see, I have to make like some statements first for those really because they do not understand the classical Arabic. I have to explain something for them because you are trying to deceive, deceive in, what, in, what, in one way or in another, really. You see, Christians, Christian, what he did, he took one of a poem. You see, I asked him one to one on one. Let him discuss with me about the religious things. Not some <laughs> kind of poem. He really just made took out one poem. Just shut up, you idiot! I just made a poetry. I created now. I created the poet about him, this idiot. In an Arabic, he cannot ever, not even his God, can make like it. And he is the one who opened the challenge. And now, okay, answer me. He cannot answer me. Make a point like the one I made for you about me. He cannot. You're talking about my Arabic, you idiot. Your God, Allah, cannot speak like me. Bring your Allah to me, I will spank him. Unbelievable. How many how many people there, they speak Arabic? <laughs> Ask those who speak Arabic in the text. They are dying laughing about what I said to you. And I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> you said you want to send the Quran and I turned you to talk to me in the classical Arabic. Okay, I, okay, I agree. Okay, go ahead. And then I made a point for you and I got you busted. And the point, I just made it like for fun. You were able to answer me? No. Uh, uh, Christian, I want to make a statement, a statement first. What, 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 what a statement? Just, just give, give me the answer. Even your God do not speak Arabic. Even the word Quran is not Arabic. Have you ever heard of somebody saying Quran? Unbelievable, man. <laughs> قله قله يا ما شاء الله طلعت ريحة ريحة فطيصة فطيصة ماتت طلعت ريحة طلعت نزلت اسمها فارس 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 اطلع فارس ركب الفارس طلعت عنزة عنزة كبيرة you're a prophet you don't even Understand if it is it, if it's a goat or it is a horse. He imagined things. Even your prophet, when he went to the seven heaven, he said he took an animal between the between the mule and the horse. Me. <clears throat> Who is next? So, uh, uh, the, okay, so let us summarize this. According to Faris, he agreed that his prophet was a bewitched. 
he's a prophet huh he was bewitched hmm any Abdul Hmm. <clears throat> Anyone? The Quran is the most stupid book in every mean, in every essence. The language is stupid. Uh, you know, actually, even the first word in the Quran is wrong. If you go in the Quran, the first chapter it says Bism. In Arabic, there is no Bism. There's no Bism. It is B Ism. Since when there is something is called Bism? Look, they corrupt the Arabic just to make it easier to read because Allah He did not make them easy for them. So the Muslim they change the word from B Ism. To Bism, there's Aleph here. The first word in the Quran is grammatically wrong, pronouncing wrong, spelling is wrong. Additional to that, all the Quran is wrong. How Allah is saying in the name of Allah, this is a man making a prayer. This is cannot be Allah if He is God and He is exists saying that. How Allah, he repeat the same thing he said in the top, he repeated again. Look at this. He just said, Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. Right? He just said, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. He just said that. Why are you repeating that again? What the point? This is a statement of somebody he have nothing to say. When you repeat the same sentence after two, not even a, a line, that's mean you are just trying to fill up space. You said Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Why you say Ar Rahman Ar Rahim again? And then he says something more stupid. You alone we worship. How Allah he say you alone we worship. If the Muslim they will say this is a prayer was given to Muhammad, show me where it says that this is a prayer was given to Muhammad. In the Quran, where Allah He says to Muhammad, Do this, He said to him, Say, Qul. There's no Qul. Qul, which means say. As you see, there's nothing. And this is why in the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, Al Fatiha does not exist. Ibn Mas'ud refused to write it down because simply it is not from the Quran. This is a prayer Muhammad He used to say. And he was trying to copy the prayer of the Christians where they asked Jesus how to pray. He said, say like this, our father out of heaven. Any Abdul? Anyone? And look at them. We show them that the Quran is full of stupid uh, teaching, scientifically wrong, logically wrong, historical wrong, grammatical, grammatical is wrong, everything is wrong. And yet he says to me, I challenge you to speak in Arabic, but he himself is an Arab, not an Arab, I can't tell. In Bahrain, they bring a lot of people from Pakistan and they give them citizenship because they are trying to make a balance between the Shia and the Sunni. The majority of Bahrain are, Sun, are Shia. The king of Bahrain, he always bring every few months a few thousands of Sunni from, from Pakistan. All his army is Pakistani. The police is Pakistani. Go to Bahrain and see. 
they teach them how to speak Arabic and they have their children born in, in, in Bahrain so they speak Arabic now but you can tell from his Arabic it's not a good Arabic Then your prophet himself don't speak Arabic the funny that the Quran says that this is pure Arabic but the first verse of Muhammad he received full of words have nothing to do with Arabic this is how stupid city this book is if you go to chapter number 96 look at this and I can show you from Islamic reference they agree that those words are not Arabic خلق, علق, قلم, uh, I mean Allah he taught the man by the pen how stupid is that it is Allah who taught the man by the pen. Allah created the man from blood. So from the first two verses Muhammad he mentioned, it's stupid. We are not created from the blood. And this is a congealed dead blood. This is your Quran. This is God saying that we are created from congealed dead blood. Only donkeys will say that. And then he says to him, read. Well, how he says to him, read, and Muhammad do not know how to read. This is stupid again. And then he says to him, read. It is he who taught by the pen. But he did not taught him by the pen. And then look, the Muslims, they they, they put between two brackets, the uh, the first pr prophet who was written, Prophet Idris. Where do you get this from? <laughs> And by the way, Enoch became Idris. I mean, look at the miracle. Idris is Enoch. Who is Idris? We don't know. Okay, who is Enoch? Muslims, you do not know. If we ask the Muslims now, okay, where you get this? Enoch is Idris, and who is Idris? Where he used to live? What what language he speak? Crazy. Any Mohammedan? Who is a smart Muslim? I hope I'm not offending you, Faris, by saying a smart Muslim. That is not including you. You see, each time they see somebody is going to leave Islam or leaving Islam or he left Islam in my in my life podcast, they go crazy. Can you give me? Can you give me his Skype? Okay, I, 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 if I give you his uh, Skype, what would what, 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 what you do? Here we go. You call me, and the guy who was listening, obviously you are stupid. Like, did you do do, 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 do better than the, the one called me before before you? Each time you talk, talk to me, you, 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 you do the poo-poo. So, so what, 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 what the point? Give me, give, give, give me, give me his, 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 his Skype. So what, what what you will do to him? You will say, "I, I, I want to show you the, the miracle of the finger print." May Allah print you. <laughs> That's the best you can do. Here we go. Everybody heard you. You call me to refute me. You got busted. You try to change the topic. You are following a prophet who is a bewitched prophet, officially certified bewitched prophet. How many people here they follow a bewitched prophet? So what does that mean? Muhammad, he used to put a flower in his hair when he walked in the street. He said, I'm from Hawaii. He was bewitched, Prophet. What does that mean? Somebody tell me, what does that mean that the Prophet was bewitched? What he used to do? Hmm? You can imagine when the Prophet became a bewitched became he was always bewitched <laughs> unbelievable oh 
I guess the prophet he used to like after he got bewitched. He was he used to practice some stuff, which is weird. Huh? What the prophet was doing after he became bewitched? You tell me. Bewitched is mean he's out of control. He was putting some sheet around his waist and doing belly dancing. What does that mean? How you Muslims notice that the prophet was bewitched? What exactly he was doing? Hmm? What he was doing? He, he was dancing samba. You have no answer. A person who follow, imagine even their book says he was bewitched. I mean, how you follow a, a, a prophet in your book, not in the book of the Christians, the Jews, the ones who don't like Muhammad. No, 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 this is your book. Saying the prophet was bewitched. What, he was dancing in the street and he was singing, singing I'm sexy and then you know what? What exactly <clears throat> was happening? Hello? Well, I'm just trying to understand what happened exactly. How you Muslim, you notice that your prophet was bewitched. Did you take him to doctor? Did they do X-ray? Forget about X-ray. What about Y-ray? Oh, by the way, you cannot do X-ray to Muhammad because he's bulletproof. Allah protect him. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's so beautiful. Obviously, Muhammad, he was not bewitched. He is crazy. This is why he say crazy stuff. The message in the front of us that an, a, a man he came to him, squeeze him at three time is a crazy message. There is no way an angel he would do that. And what the point of squeezing him three time? If nothing will happen, Muhammad before the squeezing, and Muhammad after the squeezing. What what the different? We should have a picture a selfie of Muhammad before and after. Okay, he squeezed him first time. Okay, what happened? And obviously, this man is crazy. I would love to be an, a prophet, by the way, like Muhammad, a Muslim prophet specifically. If Allah will send to me a beautiful female angel to squeeze me, and she will say to me, read. I will say to her, I will read whatever you wish. Uh, Christian Prince, uh, focus with me. Here, look, don't, don't look there. Look, here, look, look, look at my eyes. I'm looking. Those are not my eyes. Those are my nipples. Stop doing that. A guy is squeezing a guy, and the other guy don't ask him why you are squeezing him or saying, stop touching me. Why Allah did not send the female to squeeze Muhammad? That would be nice. A girl from Hawaii, and you know, she have a flower in her head. She said to him, I mean, this is more beautiful. Lead, the prophet will say to her, whatever you wish. Read in the name of your Lord, or I will squeeze you. He will say to her, please squeeze me. I will not read then. I think Muhammad did not read on purpose because he liked the first squeezing. So the guy, he said to him, read. He don't read, and he got the second squeezing. And then the angel, he noticed that doesn't matter how many times he will squeeze him, Muhammad will not read. So he stopped. Hmm?
any Muslim? I think Muhammad was on purpose not reading because he want more squeezing. Imagine Muhammad making a video clip of this. Squeeze me, baby. And the angel says to him, read. Cut me hard, baby. He cut me so hard and he pressed me. He pressed you where? I want to know where. What do you mean he cut you and he pressed you? He pressed you where exactly? He throw you in the floor and he jump on you? What is that? I cannot draw today. I lost because the Muslims they curse me, and since they curse me, my fingers are not working for a drawing. So if I try now to to draw the squeezing of the Prophet, the squeezing will come wrong. So if we say that this is the Prophet Muhammad, and this is his uh, his body, see, I told you, I told you it's going to go wrong. You see, he cursed me. And then the angel he squeezed him. So after squeezing, Muhammad body like became like this. After squeezing, I mean, isn't it obvious that this man is crazy? What about Muhammad? He have a he, he have a what? He have a mechanic. Uh, what they call it, mechanic what? Somebody help me likes when you take the engine and you I mean, what is that? Have you ever heard of a prophet? The angels they take off his belly out of they took his stomach his liver his heart they took everything and For what to get ready to be a prophet? Isn't it obviously that this man is a crazy? Uh, uh, brother Jibreel, I think you forget his testicles, brother. What the heck is that? Who want to believe in such a story? And why only they happen to Muhammad? So when we show you a reference, it says Muhammad was bewitched and he imagined things. Obviously, this is imagination too. By the way, brother. The same happened to me, brother. Three angels, brother. They come to me and cut me from here to here. And uh, by the way, do you know why we have Billy Baum according to Muhammad? Anyone knows why? Why we have Billy Baum? Anyone knows? Because Shaitan, he spit. He was spitting at Adam. At the angels and little of his spit came as, as his belly and this is where Billy Baum came according to Islam brother and by the way this is true if you don't believe me I can call Zachar Naik for you <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah the angel was squeezing the prophet and the angels were like what I mean come on I mean, just let me go, man. I can't have to breathe, huh? Yeah. True story. Anyway, guys, we will give you a 40 minute to download the video before we take it off. How many of you will download it? Let us see. How many of you will download the video? We'll give you 40 minutes. After that, the video will be gone. Uh, I want to say thank you Muslims for helping me to prove Islam to be silly and stupid and ever so a Muslim he can give us anything can be considered a little bit smart it is sad that any human being will believe in such a madness like this it's really sad this is cannot be from God that's cannot be from God no I will not take a break I have somebody waiting for me he is a Muslim he have his sister with him his sister became a Christian because of me and he is angry and now he want to debate me but in private in Skype and I think now he's listening so he is upset from me because his sister 
became a Christian her, she became a Christian and her kids too she is not a young woman she is you know she is like in her 40 so he is upset and he is so angry and he is going to get me busted as he told his sister he said if he is a man he let him agree to talk to me why he talk only to you at first I did not talk only to her you know not only her it was a group same time we will see after this guy he talked to me uh, and I will not hang up on him until he hang up <laughs> but I can say I can't say until he became a Christian what if he did not <laughs> uh, but I am so glad that he's listening so now he the same questions we gave to the Abdul previously we can give it to him as long as he is listening let us see what will happen uh you know you see what what's happening always muslims they think they can challenge the uh, challenge me but the fact you are not challenging me my friend you are challenging me the, the truth it's not me you you know you lose not because you are fighting me my friend you are fighting the truth and the jesus he said i am the truth i am the way i am the life i am the resurrection no one goes but by me i am the gate i am the door to be more accurate the door of life door of salvation so my friend you are not fighting me this is why you lose and you will always lose two things are needed for victory faith and knowledge satan he can conquer you if you have only one of them or you don't have them both if you have faith but you don't have knowledge he can play with you with your mind if you are a fool he can fool you victory is guaranteed and muslims cannot be victorious by knowledge because their knowledge is stupid this is their knowledge look read with me this is their books when we say this is their books this is their knowledge their knowledge is a foolishness so we are victorious by the lord and we don't hate the muslims we are not fighting the muslims we are fighting ignorant ignorance is our enemy the muslim is a poor man they grew up in a family they told him muhammad's prophet is the greatest etc he opened tv he hear the same he go to the bathroom in the middle east even when i go to the bathroom to do uh, 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 even there we hear quran you open tv the amazing prophet you open the radio, the beautiful prophet. You open the book of the school, the most amazing man in the world. It doesn't matter where you go. So why you are not understanding that they are victims? You are victims. Mind control. To the point they cannot let them think. And if he think they, if the, if one of them when I get smart, he will be killed. And this is why we are victorious the internet today open doors to go right now i am right now in the bedroom of ferris he like it he don't like it he is addicted to my pro to, to my live show all the muslims who come here they are addicted the second you come here once you muslims you cannot leave because you notice that you are learning about your stupid cult so I want to say thank you guys for being here. I'm not going to keep you long because as long as I stay, you guys, you stay. And then many of you get divorced because your wife, she will complain. Or in the best scenario, she will hit you with high heels in your head. And then you will sue me for losing your mind, brother. So we better go home and take care of our family and educate your children and wash dishes. Your wife is watching. And your mother-in-law she is waiting for a phone call <laughs> you better not to make them upset it's very dangerous thank god i'm single and i know it <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and i will see you again don't forget if you like to read more to understand more you can get my books from amazon.com just type a christian prince or amazon spain amazon france germany etc my books translated to many languages and more languages to come just search for my name in amazon you will find the list of my books i want to say thank you may the lord bless you and until we see you again christ is lord islam is false and don't forget to download the video 
15 to 20 minutes after the video is loaded. Thank you very much. Take care.